Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and this one's on the on Triwizard Tournament, the Black Lake, of course. So on the front of the box, you have the LEGO Harry Potter logos and Wizarding World logo, and same border that we've been seeing since 2021. And picture of all the all the components that there are, and model does not load, of course, and all five minifigs included and recommended ages eight and up set number seven six four two zero has three hundred forty nine pieces and then flip to the back of it of which have in all the set together in another position and all the features of it in, in lego.com and the lego logo and set number again And onto the instruction manual, which with an on rendering, but that kind of 3D rendering again. Okay. How they're transitioning to paper bags and add for builder app. And then add, or I mean, or how to win on the online survey. Then all the pieces that come with the set. And then add for all the sets of this current wave, which I uh, have and are also reviewing. And then the last steps. Now on to all the mini things included with this set. So first of which have an exclusive variant of Harry Potter of Harry Potter himself, of course. Well, and of course with all the main figs of this set all using the mid legs, of course. And of course First time we've ever had a uh, Harry like this since 2005, obviously, which would be swim outfit, of course, and and also with ex first and also exclusive face button, but update version of that with the fins that there are since after taking the gillweed or eating the gillweed, and of course the hair piece, which kind of same as we had for the last couple sets, and also the uh, flipper pieces in. Which in me and new kid, which nice to see there. Although it would have been great if the uh, legs were dual molded or dual molded since they which were shorts in the movie, of course. And next to which we have Ron and Hermione in their uh, Slytherin outfits. It's also like we've seen for the last few sets, but. For their double side faces, which I'll get to in a moment, are a little bit different for that. But at least the these kind of face prints here are also kind of similar to what we had in the last few sets. And next to which is all new version of Victor Crumb, of course, but with, with exclusive face print and torso printing, and of course hair piece that we have been seeing since like Finn in on Finn in Star Wars: The Force Awakens, of course. Or well, Star Wars sequel trilogy sets, of which nice to see included here, of course. And next to it is one all new version of one of the Mer people, of which with the new updated uh, mermaid tail piece there, and of course wielding the trident, like we've seen in some of the collectible minifig series, and all of the of uh, face printing, of which which can definitely which. Quite nice for how it is. Well, which you can definitely use on some special uh, custom figs if you wanted. But yeah, and of course the whereas the hair piece, which kind of recolored of one from the video line, but at least nice to see there for that. And the last of which is uh, quite exclusive to this is a 
Grinillo. Yeah, Grinillo. And of course, done kind of a bit like the uh, Corish Pixies of the of, in other sets, but and of course also like being grouped in the Marvel line, with side bits to attach stuff onto for the arms. And also like the Cornish Pixies with they like a uh, little sparkly texture to it, oh, it's really nice, which is kind of cool. But also truly glad we got to have this. To have that. And as for the back torso printing on each of them, I'm to turn around. Now, as for uh, Harry's the Witch, which also has the gills on there, and of course saying Harry, or I mean, saying Pot says Potter on the back side, which, and of course Ron and Hermione, which having the sleeping faces, which suiting to this whole sequence of the movie, also, and which comes the Witch, which of course is a large mouth that fitting to his. This new shark head piece, which we've see, also seen in a collectible minifig series, and representing a mouth fit, which kind of going, which goes over kind of like we've seen in some of the Atlantis sets from 2010-11. And of course, also on double side, and also kind of neat back torso printing for the uh, one bird person, of course. And that's about it with the minifigs. But also, but aside from that, the minifig selection in this set quite flawless. Although it would have been nice if we could have had a uh, Fleur Delacour in her uh, blue one piece, but whatever. Now, first of the builds is this little boat, which, as you can see, quite simple for how it is, which looks kind of like the tiny boat that came in the uh, Riddles for the Ring set in the 2012-13 uh, Hobbit line. And of course, this point, but except has a couple paddles on it, or oars on it, of course. And also large tile on it, and enough space to see, sit a fig on to a horse. And of course, a couple of little uh, or inverted jagged slopes underneath. For that, but not much else to say. But at least still quite well for that. First off is which one of these uh, triwizard, uh, what's it called, or these top pad, I mean, or just pedestals or platforms? Yeah, platforms. Not the right. Which, as you see, looking kind of like how it does in the movie, but in but it's which kind of a small representation of it. But the ones in the movie were like quite tall for that, but. Although that could have worked out as a whole separate set on its own, but at least, at least kind of a short representation here. Or, but at least quite well for how it is. So I like, guess so for this like bottom part of which, which of course is all rest standing on. A large dark blue plate for that, representing the waters of the Black Lake. And also have this, this, also a, couple, a large uh, tile and plate on it, representing the docking. And, and if you wonder what those uh, mini mix of ball joints are for, it is that so you can like stand a mini fig or, or a couple mini figs on there, and so you can tap on that. 
that one and jump, make them jump into the water, of course. And also on the back side, you have this like little ladder that goes goes right up top, which with a quite open part from the back side, which hold as he has a couple of cups or a couple of mugs and also a little jar that is made of a mini fig head and with a VB9E headpiece on it and of course a and also green cylinder piece with a black on it most likely representing a, a jar of gillweed of course and that's for the rest of which which are this kind of common classic fence pieces is acting as the railing of which and of course this do have like like two rows of studs enough to stand a mini fig on too of course and for this view of which that's for the top section which is playing the like newer style of style type slope pieces but in sand green and also these kind of unique kind of uh, slope pieces also for that which have studs that stick out on the sides but how are they which would be quite neat to use in mocking of course and have the classic style jagged slopes in sand green and also a little clock kind of built to it but on the back side is a little technic ball joint for you to uh, turn it of course and on top of which a little unicorn horn piece used as a like little pointed bit to it like we see on most uh, newer Hogwarts sets of course and that's about it to, uh, with the platform and now onto the lower black lake build and of course which of course is the main section in which in this in which first time we've ever seen a remake of this ever since 2005 but of course this which probably the most rightful update of it and of course it a lot better than that one and of course one big I think and also one good thing I like about this is the color scheme of like turquoise sand green and regular green and dark blue which mixed in quite well together I see how it's all resting on a one large dark tan or dark tan plate piece of which and of course a little crap like piece, a classic crap like piece which we barely see much but great to see here of course and you have those uh, classic kelp like pieces representing some of the seaweed that there is one side of which which does have a little clip to hold a, a lime green fish piece onto and also a little bit of, and also with one of those classic whip like pieces used as a war seaweed but also these little bottom sections which are comprised of mostly uh, large jagged slopes and also the little ugly rock pieces but in dark green or dark blue of which nice to see there and great for mocking of course on the back side which a couple hollow spaces one of which is filled in with a little green jumper and one that has a a gold uh cup in it but also if you notice these like little technic kind of bendy parts that are held on chains and of course those of which where you can like place the Ron Hermione the mini figs on too okay so you can stick that them on there and represent them like just floating there 
coupling and hooked onto the chains. And so, oh, which so that so that kind of effect done really well. But unfortunately, you can't launch them right off like in the original 2005 set, of course. But at least this would still work well. But yeah. <coughs> and on this side of which, do I have another one of those uh, leaf or vine kind of kelp effect to it? And also, do you got a little bit of a snot, a little bit of snot going on, but with a with a two by ten plate but in turquoise and those gold bar pieces in sand green and and of course those other slopes in uh, in turquoise slash teal and also this little large way that has some little bit of sink, some other, some more snot techniques with those with those gold bar pieces in sand green nice to see there and on the back side of which you can see just not much of anything, but although I think an extra one of these uh, gold bar pieces should have been on there, but maybe that would have been me, but, or that's just me, but yeah. But also, unlike the original 2005 set, can't like launch that off with that, but also not at all any hidden staircase with that, but at least this, which does, doesn't make much sense to the movie, but as is, I think this would quite fair enough for that. And also, uh, you know, one of the main features is if you take the platform kind of build to it and also notice the like levels. Uh, jumper plates on top and also those uh, rounded studs, rounded flat studs on there. That, right, take that, take this build and plop it on top of which and, and of course it makes it look like it's right above the water of course. So that which quite thoughtful for that. But also not at all any spots to place the a uh, boat onto, unless if you just stick it on the studs like that. For you. So at least that it's still workable. For you. So, first, so now on to my final verdict. So overall, I think this is which. Oh, which me just great set like first time of this set ever remade since 2005 left and of course same exact minifig selection and and of course updated victor crumb great and also a a grindy low oh first time i set oh which major highlight of that but also and aside from that the set does also work out well as a great parts pack playing a turquoise and dark blue and but of course, do get two neat builds for forty-five dollars, or for the forty-five dollar price point, still quite worth it. I mean, almost as worth it as like the uh, Amsuit and Thanatar set in the Avatar line last year. But, but at least do get about five minifigs instead of two for that. And of course, but and of course, a uh, uh, water Harry, a witch. Also, updated version of that. Great to see, as well. So at least, and of course, do get plenty of uh, nice features. Of which, even though they may not have been like the original 2005 version, but still, uh, still good enough for that. But yeah, and also, and also that the platform, which kind of small for how it is, but maybe there will be another version of that in the future. But who knows? Well, I guess we'll see. But yeah, although it would be nice if we gotten a few more fish pieces, is oh, it's also kind of suiting to this whole sequence in the movie, and of course maybe another, another Grindy low, but maybe that would be a little too much. But yeah.
And so now, if any of you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you have art, art, yeah, sorry about that. And now, if you're a guy, if you like completely missed the original version of it, well, definitely pick this set up. And if you are, and if you're looking to get this set for your, or for your set collection, also definitely, really, truly pick it up for that. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.